Hello everybody, Epic Mewtwo here. Today we are back for another Dokkan Battle Banner Changes and Analysis video. Today we are going to be taking a look at the new Global Future Gohan Banner. This is the JP one up right now, but we're going to compare. There, there was literally only one change around this time, but... The change is so significant that it's honestly worth making the whole video on because it's absolutely ridiculous. So, you're going to see it as soon as we do the little graphic comparison here. But, here's the comparison between the two banners. Interesting that they obviously changed hit for Goku Black. We'll talk about that in detail in a second. Um, but they changed <laughs> Super Buu's size. They made him smaller, which is kind of weird. I, I assume that's to like compensate for Goku Black's hair, but... They could have put black a little bit lower. I, I don't know. It's also because like they have to compensate for the English being a little bit longer. Um, but kind of interesting that they change the height of that too. I guess it's again to compensate for how the text is. But that kind of doesn't make sense. But either way, still interesting. And they didn't change Gohan and Trunks at all, which is which is great because normally they change it by like a hair, and it makes me so mad <laughs> because it's it's like mm, frustrating. Anyway, so let's take a look at the banners changes. Um, this time around, as you can see, literally the only change to the banners is Goku Black. <laughs> I don't know. So, this is so weird to me, okay? You guys know I've been doing these, like, banner changes videos for a while. And they usually try and make banners better, right? Not worse. Now, I understand why... They obviously had to change Hit from this, um, because Hit was on a recent uh, global banner. Um, I'll see if I can scroll through it here while I'm talking about it. But, right, um, it's just, in oh yeah, Hit was on a Mass SBK, that's what it was. So, it's just interesting to me that they decide to change it to Int Goku Black out of all characters, right? Why not make it something more enticing? I was always under the assumption that these banner changes, right, were not just because, you know, the unit confliction with JP and Global and when the units were just on banners, right? But to also entice people to summon on these banners a little bit more when Bandai knows that they're going to normally be a skip, right? Like this future Gohan, I'm going to tell you right now before we even, like, kind of analyze it, skip the banner, right? 100% skip this banner, okay? There's no reason to summon on this banner at all. And I'll go over a little bit more on that in a little bit too. Um, but we have Armor Trunks, the new future Gohan, Int Black now instead of Hit. We have Super Boo, the old Fizz future Gohan, Super Vegito, and Int UI Goku. Now, to be honest, <laughs> this is a pretty kind of bad banner um like ui goku and super vegeto are obviously pretty good and gohan's pretty good himself and trunks is all right and goku black is kind of not that not not as good as some other units you could be summoning for especially not as good as hit and even hit is kind of like you know a unit that sort of people are like eh about um, Super Boo is really not that good, and especially since he literally gets replaced by Cooler coming down the line. And Fizz Future Gohan is just Fizz Future Gohan. So, definitely an easy skip on this banner. Um, but it is just really baffling to me that they decided to pick a unit that would make this banner less enticing, right? Because most of the time, when they do a banner change, they'll try and add a unit to make you want to summon on the banner. Because obviously with this banner, right, there is a lot coming up on Global to save for. Um, obviously on, this is the Global one, whoops, here, right, starting up. Of course, um, this is the JP side of banners, right? Global, uh, which also shouldn't summon on 13, but if they do a video, or if they do changes on that. Obviously we have the Majin Vegeta and Super Saiyan 3 Goku coming up. Um, before future Gohan, of course, was cooler, um, and of course, fifth year anniversary coming up, um, for global in a couple of months as well. So, there's really no reason to summon on this banner. 
future Gohan will come back on another banner in the future. He has not returned yet on JP, so he probably will come back up maybe a little bit sooner than later on JP. Um, so then you could easily pick him up with red coins or summon for him on another banner there. It's honestly just not worth your stones. I would say just save. Usually I, I tell people in these videos, right, to... Uh, like put one multi on the banner and then just call it there but honestly i wouldn't even put a multi on the banner knowing how good excuse me knowing how good right not just the goku and majin vegeta banners are right these banners are really really good obviously even ui goku returns on this banner vegeta's banner is also absolutely fantastic right we also have the anniversary banners right which, uh, if you're not aware, are also fantastic. And ironically enough, on Vegito's banner alone, you have Super Vegito and Super Boo, which both return, that are on this banner, right? So, and then Gogeta's banner obviously is amazing too. Um, it doesn't share any similarities to the other banner. So, there's really no reason for you to summon on this on the first place. Um... As for which banner is better, because I usually do kind of like to compare the two, um, I definitely think that the JP banner is better. Um, Hit is a better unit than Goku Black, at least in my opinion. I, I think most people can agree with that. Um, very odd that they literally only made one change, though. Like, obviously, Future Gohan, the Fizz one, should be there because it's a Future Gohan banner, but... They could have just taken out Super Boo and changed it with someone else and then, you know, obviously put Hit with a more enticing unit than Goku Black. And this banner would have been a little bit more enticing to summon on, but they really just made this like... <laughs> they really just put a big ol' X on the banner, you know what I mean? They literally just like did not care. I don't know if they just figured that... People wouldn't summon on this as it is, right? They kind of already assumed that people had their mind made up about it because I know most people literally just, you know, don't care about this banner, um, you know, even before it came out. So I don't know. Maybe they were just like, yeah, we don't care. Goku Black hasn't been on a banner in a little bit. Um, when was the last banner, speaking of which, that Goku Black was on? Um, I think it was a while ago on Global. But yeah, I, I don't know. They could have put someone else on there that's a little bit more enticing. Oh yeah, the Zamasu banner, right? Which was around uh, Christmas time. Interesting. And that's not even that long ago, to be honest. I understand that... Um, or that wasn't around Christmas time. Or wait, no, that was around Christmas time, wasn't it? I think DBZ Space's dates are a little bit um, whack. Anyway, though, um, still, you know... I don't know. They could have definitely put another unit on there. They could have put someone a lot more enticing is the point I'm trying to get at. Now I'm just repeating myself. So we're going to go ahead and end the video here. Unfortunately, uh, you know, usually I like to kind of make long analysis with these. But because there's not really a lot to analyze, you know, it's kind of plain and simple. Goku Black Bad. Hit good. Don't summon on the banner. Save for fifth year so on and so forth as well obviously cooler is coming up on global if they do do some changes to that banner i will definitely make a video on it if they don't though um i would still throw maybe one multi on it but honestly i would just save for fifth year the homie garash made a great video which i will actually link more or i'll link in the description because he um talks a lot more about the topic but essentially he was saying since cooler hasn't come back to jp in a while um, it will most likely return to a banner after fifth year anniversary pretty quickly So honestly, I would just say safe for fifth year and then you can just summon on that banner once it comes around Anyway, though, that's gonna do for me. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will catch you in the next one. Epic you two out. Peace